Okay, welcome to the Jingo Thompson e trainings. Uh, as promised, today po ituturo ko na sa inyo kung paano gawin nyo first Facebook advertisement nyo through targeting. Okay, uh, Happy New Year nga pala. Okay, now I'm going to start and let's go. How to create your first Facebook ads. Finally, yung mga tanong po ninyo, marami kasi nga questions sa akin, maraming PMs uh, and messages uh, asking how to create a Facebook ad step by step. So, um, naisip ko, gawin na siya and uh, this is going to be a bit um, longer than I expected kasi po, um, after nitong uh, PowerPoint, gumawa ako ng video para mas madali at mas uh, profound ang explanation kasi medyo technical na siya. And uh, gusto ko madaling maintindihan kahit technical ang uh, makikita nyo in the screen. Okay, so let's start with things you need to prepare. Before kayo gumawa ng Facebook advertisement at before kayo uh, mag-start, gusto ko po maihanda ninyo lahat. Una, kailangan meron na kayong business page. Meron na akong tutorial niyan sa group. Panoorin ninyo so that uh, you will be able to uh, understand how to do it properly. At kailangan meron na rin kayong business manager na setup na dapat yan. Meron din akong tutorial niyan. Meron dapat kayong payment method. Uh, the best is PayPal or um, you can also use your credit card or debit card. Pero para protected po kayo at hindi uh, nakakalat sa internet ang inyong bank banking details, uh, I suggest use PayPal. Talagang safe po siya. Now, you also need to have an ad copy ready or kapag mahusay ka naman gumawa ng content, pwedeng uh, impromptu. Doon mo na gawin habang tinatype mo or ina-arrange mo na yung advertisement mo. And then, your creative such as image or video. Or pag medyo matagal na kayo, alam nyo na rin gawin yung carousel. Eh, madali lang naman siya. Okie dokie. Ito pa ang isa, dapat, or, you know, if important lang naman, and it's not really necessary, kung kailangan po ng offer nyo, na meron kayong website, there you go, or a landing page. Otherwise, pwede na yung message button, especially dun sa mga nagbibenta lang ng mga uh, physical, no, I mean, not lang. But, if you are selling physical products, pwede na rin ang message button, and you can put just put your physical address or end your phone number. Okay. Pag binuksan po ninyo yung inyong Facebook profile, pag first time mo pa lang mag-advertise, uh, uh, nandito siya sa portion na ito. So, dyan mo makikita, pag clean, yan ang i-click mo. Pero kung dati ka nang nag-advertise, makikita mo na dito yung uh, create ads. But then, dahil first time mo, wala ka pa nun. So, ito ang makikita mo. You have to click the button right there and then lalabas po itong mga uh, say scroll uh, I mean, sa drop down list and then you, you need to pick up create, uh, pick create ads and go ahead and click that. Now, lalabas ngayon itong page na to or itong window na to at papipiliin ka ng objective. Siyempre, pag first time mo pa lang, uh, gusto mo ng engagement. And because you are going to run an ad to a cold audience, magpapakilala ka pa lang. So, engagement is one of the best um, objective. Pag cold audience pa lang, yung papakitaan mo ng advertisement mo. Now, after ng engagement, kailangan mo, uh, pupunta ka dyan eh, so it, it's on the lower portion of the page, and kailangan mong bigyan siya ng pangalan. 
it should be a name na matatandaan mo kung anong uri ng advertisement itong part na to because uh, later on you're going to have a lot of campaigns and through the name na distinguish mo kung anong uh, sino ang client mo or anong product ang uh, pinopromote mo so you need to be very specific with choosing a campaign name and then you have to click that set up ad account to be able to go through here Pagdating dyan, uh, even though I am in Australia, I choose Philippines and I choose to pay Philippine Peso uh, because uh, the reason is mas mura po, mas mababa yung um, charging sa uh, Philippine and Philippine Peso. Kaya yan ang pinipili ko. And then of course, dahil ang tinatarget ko rin naman ay mga nasa Pilipinas, and of course, I have to uh, choose the Asia or Manila time. And then you have to hit continue. Now we're going to go to Facebook targeting. And this is going to be a video tutorial para mas maliwanag po. So let's go. Okay, guys. I decided to create this tutorial one, a video, after nung PowerPoint. Kasi po, medyo technical to. Masyadong mas maraming gagawin. Uh, I think it's best na makita nyo siya in action. Okay. So, nakagawa na tayo ng campaign kanina, ng campaign name. My objective for that campaign is engagement. So, I click engagement. I will go over here and... This is the campaign name, free webinar one, and I will just go ahead and set up the ad account. Now, you will also go through this and you have to set kung saan mo gustong um, i-set up yung business mo. Like for me, kahit nandito po ako sa Australia, yung mas marami kasi akong uh, clients sa Pilipinas and uh, also, mas matipid kapag ka, ang ginamit ko po ay yung account ko from the Philippines. Mas matipid sa budget, okay? Sa ad spend and all that. So, this one, you have to set it up and then hit continue. Now, nandito na rin yung uh, ad set name natin. Now, sa ad set name, di ba may campaign name? Tapos may ad set name? Kasi ganito po yan. Let's say, ang client mo, McDonald's, meron kang uh, advertisement na ginagawa sa kanila. Yung campaign name mo, McDonald's. Ngayon, yung ad set name mo, iba-iba na yan. Kasi pwedeng McDonald's, tapos uh, fries. Para sa isang ad set name. Tapos McDonald's uh, burger. Then McDonald's spaghetti. So, dyan mo naman gagawin yun under the campaign. Okay. And later on, yung pang ad name. Yung ad name naman, limbawa, McDonald's fries tapos video ang ginamit mo. O kaya, McDonald's fries tapos image. Yun. Para, pag binuksan mo siya, alam mo agad na, ah, dito yung video. Ito yung video ng fries. Tapos yung isa naman, image lang. So, madali mo siyang matatandaan. So, B, B, very, very specific para hindi po kayo malito. Kasi later on, may chance na napakadami yung makuhang client at uh, uh, madaming campaigns kayong gagawin, ganun din sa ad set, para madali nyo siyang matandaan. At madali mo siyang madistinguish kung sino ang ginawaan mo ng uh, advertisement for, for that particular campaign or ad set. Okay? Now, um, this is the saved audience na ginawa ko kanina and I think I have uh, I haven't shown this to you but I'm going to show you a separate video paano to gawin okay or well might as well let's create some new para mas madali okay because you don't have uh, let's pretend na wala pa kayong audience na ginagawa like 
di, kunyari wala pa to, okay? So we are going to skip this step. Etong custom audience is skip po natin 'yan. We're go, we're going to go straight here sa location. So, for me, syempre Philippines at uh, diyan ko kasi irarun itong ad na gagawin ko. And then Gusto ko enter Philippines, but for the purpose of showing you how targeting works, ipapakita ko po sa inyo itong mga choices dito. There is an include and exclude. Include is, let's say for example, full, uh, let's say for example, ang gusto niyong makita, makakita ng ads ninyo ay yung mga tao lamang sa Metro Manila. So, pwede niyong gawin yan. Very, very precise na yung mga nasa Metro Manila lang ang makakakita ng advertisement mo. Or, pwede namang entire Philippines except i-click mo ngayon yung exclude at ilalagay mo, let's say, Mindanao. Uh, okay, Mindanao, Cebu, and Central Visayas. All the people who lives in this area within 25 miles radius ay hindi makakakita ng advertisement mo kahit may Facebook sila. Kahit may internet sila dyan, di nila yan makikita because they were excluded sa tinatarget mong audience uh, as per location. Now, Let's say, nakikita nyo tong drop-in. Let's say, may restaurant ako ng Goldilocks sa Cubao. And uh, gusto ko na every break time, makit, uh, yung mga nasa Cubao, makita nila yung meron akong promo at uh, para pumunta sila sa akin pag break time doon sa Goldilocks. So, hahanapin mo ngayon, uh, of course, Sabi ko, Kubaw. Hanapin natin ngayon ang Kubaw. And then, pagdating sa lugar na yan, well, we, I think we need to, we need to find it, Kubaw, Quezon City. Pwede rin nyo po itong gamitin, itong drop pin na to. Pwede nyo gamitin kung barangay base po yung mga client ninyo. Kasi, uh, very precise yung target niyan. Pwede nyo liitan yung miles uh, radius niya or pwede nyo rin lakihan up to 50. Now, nilagay na natin dyan. So, nag-drop na yung pin dyan. Lahat ng nandyan within 25 miles radius ma lang ang makakakita ng advertisement ng Goldilocks para uh, yun yung tinatarget kasi ng Goldilocks para pag dumating yung break time malalapit lang sila ayaw mo naman na ang makakita ay taga Fairview hindi naman sila siguro pupunta pa ng Cubao para lang mananghalian sa Goldilocks that's the uh, idea okay so now you see how that works Dito naman po tayo sa age. Particularly, ang gusto kong age ay nasa 24 to 45 years old. Kasi ang tinatarget ko dito, yung gustong uh, magkaroon ng sarili nilang uh, social media agency or matuto ng uh, social media advertising. I want uh, people from 24 to 45 year, years old from the entire Philippines. So, I have to remove this uh, drop pin from the entire Philippines now uh, we can skip the language kasi po uh, standard naman na English ang ginagamit ng Facebook sa Pilipinas now over here This is where is the aha is gonna come from. Kasi ito na po yung uh, precise targeting and laser targeting. Let's say, tungkol sa social media advertising or digital marketing yung aking niche, 
So, particularly, ang pina, pina-follow ko ay Sinil Patel. So, I will have to check kung pwede kong i-follow ang mga followers niya sa Pilipinas. Okay, let's see kung lilitaw siya. And lumitaw siya. So, pwede kong i-target yung mga followers niya sa, sa Philippines. Now, dahil ang business ko is about social media marketing, tingnan natin kung han dito. There you go. That's it. Also, online business or online advertising. That's it. Uh, ano pa? Digital marketing. Uh, are you there? Digital. Where? Okay. There you go. So, let's say, ayan na, na-target ko na, or lagay pa natin tong business, uh, small business people. There you go. So, five. Pwede po yan hanggang ten. So, kung ilan, at kung hanggat uh, carry nung connected sa business nyo, target nyo rin. So, ako, yan ang target ko. Now, marami pa kayong pwedeng i-target yung kanilang mga uh, um, salary bracket, yung mga interest nila like travel, kasi depende sa inyong uh, business or offer or service. Now, dahil yan ang aking business, yan ang target ko. You're just going to uh, skip this one, skip this one, and then you have to save this audience. You have to give this audience a name. Digital audience para madaling matandaan. Save. Now we have the digital audience there. Ito na siya. Now, Pagdating dito, I suggest na huwag niyong gagamitin yung sinabi niyong recommended automatic placements kasi ilalagay niya lang po yung advertisement niyo sa lahat-lahat kasama ang Instagram, yung Facebook watch at kung ano-ano pa na hindi naman masyadong, uh, not everyone is interested to check on those at hindi din po lahat ay nasa Instagram. Really, Instagram is good but not as good as Facebook in, in terms of targeting audiences, okay? Now, i-edit natin yung placements kasi ang gusto ko po, yung, kung meron kayong makikita na nakatik dyan, tatanggalin nyo lang lahat, ang ititira nyo yung feeds para lalabas lang siya sa notifications at sa feeds ng mga tinarget ninyo. So, that's it. Yan lang po siya. And then, yung device... All device, pwede sa mobile, pwede sa desktop. And sa mobile, sa lahat, of course. Gusto mo lahat na. Now, it's either you want people to only see it when they're connected to Wi-Fi or when they're not connected to Wi-Fi, you, they can also watch it. Or, kasi minsan video uh, and nakadata lang yung mga tao, hindi, hindi rin nila mapapanood. So, it's really not... Um, not a big deal. It's your choice. And my choice is, I'll just let it uh, sit like that. Okay. So, done. And ang budget from 100 to 200, 250, depende. Kung, syempre, kung milyones naman yung um, pinopromote mo, limbawa, real estate, siguro, medyo malaking budget. And also, depende rin po sa uh, promotion, kung anong uh, klase yung pinopromote mo. And then, well, for me, nag-start ako palagi sa 200, sometimes 100, kasi meron akong testing time. Yung mga first day to three days, yan, nagtitest pa ako niyan. Then, ini-scale or ino-optimize ko siya pag maganda yung performance niya. And there are two ways to do that, continuously or mag-set ka ng date. Uh, for this, uh, um, example I'm doing, ang, gagawin, ang gagawin ko po, three days ko siyang i run kasi i-check ko kung maganda yung performance niya o hindi para kung hindi ko man siya na monitor, uh, mag stop na lang siya uh, sa sarili niya. But the thing is, pag maganda po yung performance, titigil siya ng kusa, you have to repeat. Yun lang mangyayari. So you have to uh, 
create an ad again for that and submit it again. Kaya minsan talaga, mas maganda pa yung run your ad continuously. Anyway, now na-explain ko naman yan sa inyo, it's all up to you. You can test both para malaman nyo sa inyo kung ano yung mas nag-work uh, properly. Kasi hindi naman lahat ng uh, product natin ay pare-pareho ang, ang delivery. So, you can test it uh, for yourself. And then, you will just have to hit continue. Now, dito, lalagyan mo na siya ng ad name. Kung ano siyang uh, particular na uh, ad. Na pagka na, nakita mo yung ad name, alam mo agad anong klaseng advertisement yung ginawa mo para doon. So, in my case, nilagay ko na lang yung aking uh, website name, FB Ad Solutions. Nilagyan ko ng one para alam kong connected siya doon sa, para sa cold audience ko. And, sa page na Ask Jingo. And then, I perhaps will choose uh, video kasi alam naman natin na yan yung medyo maganda ang engagement. And engagement pa naman yung aking objective. So, video. Ito yung video na pinili ko. Actually, the way to um, find it is dito rin naman. Meron kasi ditong Meron, okay, I will show you how to. So, yan, i-upload nyo yung video nyo dyan. And then, look for the video in your machine. Click it. And then, open. Tapos, i-upload nya. Okay, we'll have to wait a little. Nandito po sa right side yung mga aspect na kailangan sa pag-upload ng video. It only has to be um, 15 seconds max. Ang ratio is 4 is to 5. And... Uh, enabled with captions included. File size is up to 4 gigabyte. File type is MP4, MOV, or GIF. And resolution is 600 pixels minimum width. And so on and so forth. Buti na lang medyo matinot yung internet ko ngayon kasi pahapon, trenay ko na itong gawin. Napakabagal. So, I have to put it off and do it again today. Okay, there you go. And you have to remember, ito kasi, hindi siya, uh, ayaw ni Facebook yung maraming text sa th thumbnail. So, we can customize that. You, you only have to click this. And ito, medyo konti siya. It has to be only 20% text para po um, tanggapin siya ni Facebook. So, yan ang gagamitin ko. There you go. Now, over here, gagawin nyo ngayon yung copy para sa inyong advertisement. And this is my headline. This is the first uh, sentence na makikita nila just in case na hindi, ma ma hindi pa mababasa lahat. And then this is the pain points. At ito naman po yung call to action or, you know, the, uh, the solution for them. So, it has been explained over there. Pwede nyo po yan habaan ng mas mahaba pa. Pwede nyo rin siyang gawa ng story. Pwede, alam nyo yung storytelling, uh, it works here. Kasi pwede mahaba talaga. So, you can also do that. And I only did this kasi 
tutorial lang naman and also you can you you can do your own alam niyo naman po yan and you can uh, be as creative as uh, whatever you like pwede niyo subukan total pwede naman i-test now the the website right here and then the call to action it's over here kung nakikita niyo there you go and here it is makikita rin yan so uh, we're done and you only have to click confirm and everything is uh, set and ready to go so that's it guys thank you very much and see you again next video well disregard this para po sa mga na australian resident ito okay <laughs> ito yung uh, aming uh, australian business number para sa tax okie dokie Thanks everyone and hope you learned something from this and see you again next video. Bye!